Greetings. Uh, my name is Brian Thompson. I'm part of our hybrid cloud and private cloud business. Um, excited to have David Estes here with me. Uh, we want to take this opportunity to give you a view into the new HPE VM Essentials uh, solution, which we're really excited about. Uh, David, I was hoping maybe you could give us a bit of a test drive and walk us through some of the capabilities in the uh, user interface for this new platform. Awesome, yeah, I'd love to give you kind of a high level view of what we've got and some of the feature sets we offer uh, with this product. Um, so as you can see on the screen, I have uh, HPE VM Essentials up and running with the dashboard, and we're going to actually just dive in here. So let's go to provisioning instances. This is where you'd find your VMs and stuff like that within the HPE VM Essentials. Uh, one thing I want to note here is we've talked about it in previous presentations that it also works side by side with VMware. So you can actually see I have some VMware instances running here. I've got some other HPE VMs running as well. So in this example, you actually have a cluster um, running the HPE VM essentials, but you're also using the same interface to manage a vSphere cluster of VMware. So I have both those workloads and how I manage those. Exactly. So you can Super do discovery cool. and manage both of your instances. Um, adding an instance is also very easy. So we can just say add. We can pick our instance type. We're going to do an HP VM here. Hit next. Uh, we can pick a group in cloud. We can give it a name like, uh, you know, my HP instance. Hit next. Pick a layout if there's one. We can pick a plan. So we can go to like a, you know, two gig. Pick our network. Pick our, we've got defaults here as well. We'll go into that at another time here. But we can also pick an image. So let's just run Ubuntu 22.04. Hit next. So if this was VMware, this would be like the vCenter experience, right? Where yeah. I can go in and provision my virtual machines, how big does it need to be, what's the host OS or guest OS exactly. I'm going to install. the template you're going to pick yeah. from, that kind of Great. thing. Same yep, it's a little more cloud-like looking, but that's you know where the market's heading and where we think people are going to want to be. Yeah. So we're going to hit complete here, get a nice review, and you can see that's going to kick off. We've got our My HP instance. It's going to tell you, you know, a little bit about how long it's going to take to provision that for you. It also learns from your hardware environment. We know everyone's going to have different hardware, different sets of qualifications, and we've talked about it in other things. It's, it's going to be designed to be qualified on standalone hardware outside of just HPE. Um, while we're waiting on this, actually, uh, it's probably a good idea to go dig into one we already have up and running so you can see a little bit more. You can see some of the stats coming in, CPU, memory, storage. Um, a lot of features are in here, like I can reconfigure it, I can do vMotion, storage, DRS vMotion, all those types of capabilities are here. We even have backups, um, really nice to highlight that. Uh, not only do we have backups, we have incremental backups. It's not full change block tracking, we're working with our other partners, Cohesity, Veeam, all those types of people to make a official integration with those products, Calm Vault as well. Um, so, but this is something for your dev test environments or or you know, yeah. what you might want to use for now. This is great, especially early adopters that want to start using the technology and test it um, until the ecosystem catches up with commercial offerings. Uh, to have this capability built into it is amazing, right? Uh, I think that's an amazing capability that, that's part of this. Yeah, and we even have your hypervisor console right in your browser or guest console. So you can actually SSH RDP to your Windows environments and have guest, guest console access or get your hypervisor console right in the same window. Uh, which is really nice for just doing maintenance and general management of that VM. And a nice history for tracking everything that's going on. You can see our backup history, all that type of activities all here. So yeah, that's a high level view of just deploying a VM, managing your VM uh, throughout the application. David, if I think about uh, the role of the customer and as an administrator of this, so great uh, cloud user persona, provisioning a VM, super easy, all those capabilities I would expect to be able to provision a virtual machine. But I think some of the really cool stuff that we've seen that's come in this first release is still more that advanced cluster management. You mentioned oh, yeah, things like a vMotion equivalent, right? How do I do what would be considered live migration, moving a running virtual machine from one host to another without incurring downtime? So I can actually take that physical hypervisor out of service, do maintenance on it, patching update, restore it. Um, some of those more advanced cluster management pieces, I think, are the key to enterprises being able to adopt this as a viable alternative to what may be an existing vSphere environment. Yeah, of course. And we can totally dive into clusters and, and how that works. We talked about cluster management. So you can see here, this is a cluster. We can see the health of our cluster capacity. Look at all the hypervisors we've got involved in there. All our data stores for where we're storing things, what data store types we offer, all that. Um, we have our networks and configuring our networks, our VLANs, our distributed switch port groups, all that type of capabilities in here, just like it is in VMware. Um, and then you can also just drill into one of these hosts, right? There's that DE test VM. 
uh, we had here. This is what we call the, the compute side of it. We can horizontal scale and do like the app, stuff like that. There's yeah. a lot of automation. Uh, but we also, like you talked about, we can just say, let's move it or let it auto DRS or just pick a different host and off it goes. It's going to go move that for you. That VM is up and running. There's no downtime. Yeah, that is fantastic. That mm -hmm. is fantastic. I think from a storage perspective, that storage management has been key as well. David talked about the ability to move a, a guest from between hypervisors. Same thing is true now from that storage perspective too, being able to live migrate the storage. So if customers were migrating from one LUN to another or between different storage arrays, um, that capability in that initial release, it's pretty amazing to have that uh, kind of full feature set. Right, and not only can we move LUNs, we can move storage types. So we can move from, say, a, a raw LUN on, and, or a VDisk on Electra here in the future directly per VM, kind of like a VVOL, or we can go to NFS with QCAL, right, just by hitting reconfigure and off it goes. That VM's up and running and it's doing that resize for us behind the scenes. That is awesome. Really excited to get this initial release out. Um, there's going to be a lot more information that you can uh, get into, but wanted to give a little bit of a teaser and show you to make this tangible. This thing is real. We're really excited about it. Um, we've gone through uh, recent uh, waves and tranches of customers doing early beta testing and have had overwhelmingly positive feedback. Hopefully, you're seeing the same thing from a feature capability. So uh, stay tuned for more, uh, but really excited to get this thing out the door and start having customers experience it.